Hi everyone, welcome. Um, my name is Tracy Bish. I'm an independent demonstrator, uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Central Victoria, Australia. I feel a little bit, um, I'm not quite ready, so I apologise. Um, I've got heaps and heaps to show you and I'm really excited to um, bring all these things that I've got to show you today. I'm just going to log on to um, my iPad here and see if anyone comes on and if I have any Hi Marion, how are you? See if I can see if anyone else is watching. Hope everyone's had a really great week. I've been really busy. Uh, I filmed six videos uh, on the weekend. So I've been busy editing and uploading and doing my blog posts. So. That's kept me really busy. I feel really behind. We're almost in August and I'm not really got my videos ready for August and I like to be sort of like a month in advance and I'm, I'm not, but that's okay. I will get there as my family keeps telling me it's not, don't stress up. You're breaking up. Okay, when I find myself here, hopefully I can see that I'm not breaking up or if I am. Okay, I've got myself. I'm clear on my end so I wonder if it's might be your end Marion I'm not really sure okay um, if you could please uh, like and share my video I'd really appreciate that as well and like I did last week um, I'm going to run a giveaway with the card that I make today so if you like and share um, this video leave a comment you're going to go in the drawing to um, maybe win the, one of the cards that I'm making today so I'll have two I've got one that I've already pre-made um, as my sample and then I'm going to make one today and I'm going to give away um, if you leave a comment on my Facebook so whether it's live or replay and please pop on it whether you're watching live or on the replay pop on say hi where you to let me know where you're watching from that's one way to be entered the other way to be entered is to um, share my video and if you're watching the replay over in YouTube, um, I can't work out who um, has actually liked my videos. So, okay, I'm breaking up on my iPad. Um, but if you leave a comment or share it over on YouTube, um, you'll go in the drawer as well. We've had a little bit of trouble with our internet um, here this morning, but um, yeah, hopefully, if this is if you're not able to watch this live, come back and watch it in the replay, and hopefully that works out a little bit better. So I really apologise if it's um, as shaky as it is, which it seems to be. I'll keep moving, and we'll go from there. So I've got my first rack card. Um, well, I've only got one this week. It's a really great one and it comes from Susan Webster. She is a American demonstrator over in New York. And this card is really, really pretty. Isn't that lovely? Might be better on this side, yeah. Really sweet card. So thank you so much, Susan. I really love this. And she put a nice little note in there to say, to reuse it and give it to someone else, which I thought was really lovely. Okay. Is it playing the game now? Hopefully it is. Okay, so that was the only rack card I received this week, but we're gonna move on to my YouTube videos. It is sweet, yes. So on Tuesday, my video um, was this one here using the Sailing Away bundle. It's a congratulations card. Hang on, let me get my, there we go. And it's repetitive stamping on the back and then I've uh, popped up anchors that I've heat embossed in the white embossing powder as well. So you can check that one out on YouTube. And there's also a co uh, corresponding blog post with that one with all the measurements and supplies. And today I also had a video go on. Let's go this way, that makes more sense for me. And this is the one that's on my YouTube channel today. It's using Magnolia Lane Suite. And this is so pretty. Um, it's actually a case card and it comes from page 36 of the annual catalogs. So every Thursday I do casing 
um, cards and so I absolutely love this one and these little cork embellishments I've actually been using them a little bit lately so you'll see them in a few videos coming up so that was today's card so you can check that out over on my YouTube channel Sunday's Facebook challenge if you haven't been following me with that one last Sunday was a nature's challenge and you still got till Sunday um, to take part if you would like to and please do because it's a lot of fun it's I do a different challenge every single week and um, it's geared for anyone to um, be able to join in so if you've got anything that you can whether it be retired stuff or, or um, current product you can use both I'm happy for you to use both so this is my quick and simple card and I thought it was a nice little bit of a sympathy card um, very very simple it was quick to put together but um, they're my favorite sort of cards to put together so that one is my version and there's actually um, if you go and check on the challenge in the comments there's other ladies have, who have taken part have got some lovely cards there so please pop on and have a look at those and every Sunday Australian um, time um, around 10 o'clock I try and put it on by there'll be a new challenge so if you would like to take part jump on in uh, okay so I'm just going to quickly go over the July specials we've only got what is it six more days after today you've got till next Wednesday to take part in those specials the first one is the bonus days coupon um, special for every $90 um, you spend you'll get a $9 coupon code to spend next month um, on an order so that's a really great saving to um, to use up and the other special that we have is the extra extra bonus and once again um, this is a joining special you can um, purchase the starter kit for $169 you get to choose $280 worth of product now the shipping is free um, that's $111 of free product you get to choose your products but you also get during the month of July you'll get a $16 coupon code that you can use the following month so uh, next month for your next order um, but you can join next next week sorry next month as well but you'll just miss out on that $16 uh, coupon code so by joining in the next six days you can get $127 worth of free product over the next two months and then your first order after that will be 20% off as your discount as a demonstrator so it is an absolute win-win um, if you're interested or you would like more information um, you can get in touch with me and I can help you out with that so if you're a demonstrator you would probably already know that um, you could download the PDF for the holiday catalog and I am super excited holidays especially Christmas is my favorite time of the year I love holiday craft and um, we were able to see and download that holiday catalog yesterday um, which is really really great you can order from that catalog as a demonstrator um, from the first of next month so uh, that was that will be Wednesday and um, when you make your first order they'll send you a catalog in your order so you actually have the catalog in your hand okay so I think that's all I had to tell you so you've got six days to um, take up those two offers for the bonus day coupon codes as well okay so what we might do is we might draw the the um, the entries for these two cards so this was my sample um, that I made first off with the whisper white um, twine and then this is the one that I made on the face Facebook live last week so I have two containers the first one is the YouTube container now I only had one entry only one person left a comment so the winner for this entry is Rebecca Bullock I think she's in America so Rebecca if you could let me know um, I'm going to pop on the screen in a minute my email address or you could uh, message me via messenger and let me know your address and I'll send that one out to you and then I've got this one here and what I might do because there's a few in there I might turn the camera around so you can actually see me drawing it out so let's do that 
I'm also just going to switch the camera around the other way. There we go, so we're the right way. So this is from the Facebook Live and the Facebook uh, replay. I'm going to draw out one person. Oh. I've got two people out there. Let's open this one up. Becky Pruitt. Well done, Becky. Now, um, Becky, I know your address, so I can send that one out to you. So don't forget um, to earn or to win this, you have a chance to win uh, this week's card. All you have to do is um, share my video, uh, like my video, and comment. So whether you're doing the Facebook Live, the Facebook replay, or the YouTube replay. So this is my email address, um, mainly for you, Rebecca. Um, if you could email me or send me a message, let me know your address, I'll get that card out to you. Beautiful, so we're right to move on to the next thing and the card we're going to make today is this one here. Isn't that sweet? Now I'm part of a challenge this week and it was the Global Design Challenge um, 199 and the theme was crafting. So this is what I came up with. So for this card I've used the Crafting Forever stamp set and I love this one. For this splotches here in the background, I've used the Geared Up Garage because the oil splots work perfectly for ink splots. And I'm using the Stitched Shape Framelit dies in the second, la second largest uh, in the square. What else do we have? We have some heart epoxy droplets. Also using some rhinestones, just some basic rhinestones. Inks, we have Melon Mumbo, Versamark and Memento ink, and we're going to heat emboss, and let me just bring it up to show you. Going to heat emboss the gorgeous little scissors here, and we're using the white embossing powder for that one. I have the light and dark in lovely lipstick in the Stampin' Blends. And I'm also using some fine tip glue pen as well. So let's get started with that. I have my card kit here all ready to go. And if you're after the measurements or supplies, you can do that. Um, I have a blog post over on my blog for the Global Design Project 199. And all the measurements and supplies are actually listed there. So please go over and check that out. And I'll probably link uh, that blog post when I do the replay and when I um, move it over to YouTube just to make it easier for everyone. So I have a thick whisper white card base and using card bases thick whisper white is perfect for it. It's just got that little bit more um, give to it. I also have a piece of whisper white which is going to be our matting here in the background. We have for the little flags in the background a piece of basic black, a piece of silver foil Another piece of Whisper White, which is going to be this gorgeous little frame here. And then I've just got a few little scraps of the silver foil and another piece of basic black. And this is going to be used for that little scissor there. So what we're going to do first is I want to bring the big shot in because this is actually cut out with the frame framelit and that's in the stitched square so let's bring that one out first and I'll bring the big shot over as well and I believe it's that one yep I finally got new cutting plates so that's really great so this piece of the whisper white is what we're going to cut out first and I just need to make it looked like a little bit like a Polaroid. That's what I was going for. So I've got a little bit of more of a border down the bottom here. So let's run that one through. That's shaking the camera, sorry about that. Be finished in just a second. And that gives us that nice little frame and we're gonna stamp on this piece as well. So I can grab Get rid of this one. 
bringing all those pieces in. Now the next thing I want to do, because it's going to take a little bit of time, I want to get the epoxy heart droplets out. And I'm going to colour them in with the stamping blends. And I need, um, I'm going to use the dark uh, blend. And I want to colour in a large, a medium and a small. I've already done one there, so let's just go over that. I'm going to do a small one just down here. And then also a medium. And these stamping blends are so good, you can make all sorts of different embellishments with these because they're alcohol markers and it sticks on them. But it does take a, a little few minutes to, for it to dry, so I'm going to pop that to the side. That's how good they look. Let that dry and we'll come back to that. I'm going to do my frame next and also, so we'll do our whole frame here. I have, let's bring the stamps in. So I'm using that cotton, is it a cotton, it's a peg with some cotton around it. <laughs> I'm not a sewer. And what we're going to do is we're going to ink that up in the Memento ink. And I'm just going to stamp around the border there. I thought this just gave it a little bit of a different detail. Okay, so I'm happy with that. You can put as much or as little on as you like. While we've got the memento out, I'm going to get that stamp that's of a stamp. I'm going to ink that up with the memento as well. And I want to stamp that in the middle of that square. Beautiful. I can get rid of the memento. I'm going to leave that to dry really quickly. It doesn't take very long to dry, but I thought we might do the heat embossing while we're waiting. So for the heat embossing we need that smaller piece of basic black and also the uh, silver foil. And I'm going to bring those scissors in and also the Versamark ink. And I love heat embossing. I think it's amazing. So right in the middle. And we are fussy cutting a little bit as well. So. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Now with the silver foil piece, we just need um, the scissor prongs. I don't know what they're called. I'm failing a bit tonight. Um, the blades, let's go with that. My white powder here. And I thought this really looked, looked great, especially with, um, I put a rhinestone in the middle there, in this part here, and it just really set it off. Bring that in and show you. Isn't that sweet? Very cute. Okay, I'm gonna bring the big, the, let's bring the heat tool in. We'll quickly do this one. So it changes pretty quickly. It helps if your, big, your heat tool's warmer. But the powder will melt pretty quickly and you can just move to the next one. Oh, 
I'll bring my scissors in. I'm just going to quickly fussy cut. And this is obviously the other side that we will be putting down on the, the black piece, but it was easier to see on this side. So what's everyone been up to this week? I'm interested, has anyone checked out the new catalogue? And if they have, what is a must for you? I really like the snowman. I thought he was really cute. So that's going to go on the top. Let's fussy cut the scissors out on this one as well. And I'm going to have to bring in my slicing tool to get the inside of the scissors where the thumbs go in. Not the quickest at doing this. Okay. Now I've got like a little scalpel tool that I'm just going to cut in the middle here. Cut around the hole there. You want it all, Marion? Hmm. Well, that's not good. Do you have it one that stands out the most? Well, it's good for stamping up if you want it all. And I think just about every demonstrator wants it all. But they must be a favourite. I must admit, I haven't really had a chance to um, really pay too much attention. But um, I'm going to sit down and have a really good look on the weekend, make some plans make a list of what I have to have and what's going to have to wait I suppose. Okay so we have our scissors all done here and I have the blades. I'm going to bring some um, mono glue in and we're just going to glue that down and then I can stick my dimensional on the back. Got a bit of glue there. Isn't that awesome? So cute. So where are my dimensionals? I'm going to use one of these small ones. Um, this is an old set still, but you could use just the smallest one here as well. very very cute we might do some coloring now and I have this one should be right to color in I have so much powder there let's try and get rid of some so 
I'm going to go over it with the light first. And this is lovely lipstick. Change to that fine tip to go along. So not really anything exciting now. I'm going to take my dark one and I'm just going to go over those shadowy pieces. So just like that. Creating that little bit of a shadow. And then I'm going to do my light, sorry, my dark with that big heart in the middle. And then I'm going to use the light stamping blend for the two small hearts next to it. And once I have the card together, I'm also going to go over the large heart with the fine tip glue pen. And that just gives it the raised, um, the raised look there. I don't know whether that will pick that up. Can you see that? That shininess to it? Just gives it a good little effect. Okay. Now with our piece that's going to go in the middle there, I'm going to bring the Melon Mumbo ink in and we're going to pop those splotches on it. the two corners, so the top right and then the top and the bottom left. And this is that ink spot, oil spot, sorry, stamp. I'm going to pop a little bit there. That gives it a little bit of a detail on the side. Can't decide. Might need to look through it a little bit more then. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this piece up with some dimensionals and I actually might need to get out a new one very soon. I go through lots and lots of dimensionals. So this is getting popped up and then we're going to take that basic black and the silver foil piece and we're going to create a banner end down the bottom. I'm bring my scissors in, I want to just go up. In the middle and then we're going from each side to that middle spot and that's how you do the banner cut if you have a banner punch you could use that same for this one here I'm not going to go quite up as far on the silver foil so I've been working on some videos over the weekend and during this week doing the um, blog posts and all my YouTube channel art and all that sort of stuff. And I'm really excited to show you what's going on for August. I'm using a lot of the Magnolia Lane Suite stamp set for um, the videos this week. Oh, sorry, next month in August. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm also using the Woolby Walrus stamp set. Absolutely love that one. Super, super cute. Okay, so there was our two flagged banners. The next one we're going to do is we're going to pop up the Polaroid piece. So let's bring some more dimensionals in. going to use some of the bones of the dimensionals here. For these edges there's not a lot of room on each side. And 
and one more bit. Okay. So that should give us enough lift and take our backings off. And I found if I put this piece down first, this piece down here just slotted in perfectly. So making that even. I can pop some glue on the back of this one. So this is for the global design challenge for the week. And I'm going to stick some Tombow glue behind the scissors as well. All that's left is our little hearts that we coloured in with the stamping blends. I'm going to pick one of them up. The large one I'm going to stick in here. And although this is lovely lipstick and I've used um, Melon Mumbo as the ink here, it all goes together really well. Stick one up here as well. Another one down just here. What do you think? I think it'd look really nice in a blue as well. Maybe not look so um, much like blood maybe, I'm not sure. I went with pink because I thought, well, everyone loves pink. Yeah. Excellent, so make sure if you would like to, a chance to win one of these cards, you just need to leave me a comment and um, share my video. And if you're on YouTube, just leave a comment and share as well. Okay, I really appreciate you um, popping in tonight. I'm gonna pop the camera around the other way really quickly as well. Okay, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back again um, next Thursday for another video. And as always, I always have a video on Tuesday and Thursday uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you wanna take part in the Facebook um, Sunday challenge, every Sunday around about 10 o'clock. So um, check that out. Anyone can join in and I'd love it if you gave me a, um, how to go at it. It's um, great to see all the different varieties of people doing crafting so yeah okay until next time you have a wonderful night and I'll see you all very soon bye bye